All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakha HaKodash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Holy Lick. You know, today this message, you know, going to be titled based around wars and rumors of war. And this article right here, it says, International anger as airstrikes kills dozens in Myanmar. And this is a Southeast, um, make sure I'm saying it right. Yep, a Southeast Asian country. You see? And a bomb was, matter of fact, I'm just going to read it. And then I got a video clip I want to play. It says dozens of people in central Myanmar were killed in airstrikes Tuesday, according to local media reports and a witness contacted by AFP as the United Nations and Western powers condemned the attacks and demanded accountability. It says the Southeast Asian country has been in chaos and its economy in tatters since the military seized power in February 2021. Hey, and that's what America got to look forward to. It says they've been in chaos and the economy. Uh, the word tatter going to. Um, let me just get it real quick. Irregularly torn pieces of cloth, paper, or other material. See, so it said their economy have been torn into pieces, man. Bits and pieces, shreds. It says since the military seized power, and that's going into what like, like martial law, man. When the military are now policing, hey, that's what it looked like, man. They don't, they don't even care, man. They bombing the citizens. Hey, that's what America got to look forward to. You see, it says. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna uh, read all this. It said at least fifty fatalities and dozens injured. But I'm finna go to this um video clip that I have. Ah, uh, they didn't took it. Matter of fact, Saginaw region and people. Hey, that's the spirit. Hey, because I ain't saying they jakes, but you know we spread throughout the four corners of the earth. Hey, and they look like jakes. And this was the first pictures I went to. When I looked that one up, then I scrolled over. Hey man, now you got the fringes on this shirt, man. They could be Jake's. I don't know. Look like Northern Tribe. But ain't no telling. But here, here you go. Yep, it say screaming people and bodies everywhere. The horrific aftermath of Myanmar. Junta airstrikes that killed 133. You see, so in the article it said 50, now they're saying 133. And this from CNNWorld.com. So, like, yeah, bear with me one moment. Two years, after, two years after Myanmar's military seized power, new allegations reveal the junta's continuing brutality. Local media published images of the aftermath of an alleged military attack on a village, killing around 100 people. And a warning, the images you're about to see are graphic. These photos show bodies of victims, as well as destroyed buildings, vehicles and other debris. The ousted civilian administration says children and pregnant women are among the dead and wounded. The National Unity Government called it a heinous act that constitutes a crime of war. Local media report Myanmar's military dropped two bombs and then fired on the northern village as many were gathering for the opening of a new town office on Tuesday. Reuters is reporting the junta says it carried out an attack targeting rebels and that if civilian casualties occurred, it was because they were forced to help, quote, terrorists. See? Hey, man, that's what America got to look forward to. Like, those the spirits created for vengeance, man. Hey, how about Hashim Al-Shah orchestrated that, man? It said pregnant women and children. 
Mm-hmm. Which it brought me back to this point. That's what I wanted to read too. It says the UN chief, so like the UN rice chief, Volker Turk, said he was horrified by the deadly airstrikes whose victims he said included school children performing dances with the global body calling for those responsible to be brought to justice. You see? So, hey, it said pregnant women and children, you know. Hey, they were having a school dance, and they just dropped the bomb on them, man. Hey, but all that is of you. How about Hashimi I was shy, man? Grab this. This is um Matthew 24. You just get straight to the point. Matter of fact, verse 3. And as he sat upon Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? You see, and those were the disciples inquiring, you know, of the end of that age, the end of that time period. And at the same type of time we on, we 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 inquiring, you know, what's going to be the signs. And he revealed the signs unto us, you see. And he blessed us with the spirit to, to, to believe. And scrolling down to verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. Hey, there was a war and rumors of war, man. They say, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, hey, all these things must come to pass. Hey, that same exact thing, hey, that's going to come to America, man. That's going to come to a city near you, man. Martial law, all hell going to break loose. Jacob's trouble. You see? It says, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, and we see all these things taking place. You see? Yep. This is Ezekiel 7 and verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh unto the land of Israel. And in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Salaki. Yep, it says, And in the end is come upon the, upon the four corners of the land. Hey, that's throughout the world, man. For all the weakness that has been going on. Hey, I'm pretty sure some Israelites over there, because hey, the scripture tell you how we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Uh, verse 3, it says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. Mine I shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You see? Hey, these are the times that we're approaching, man. Oh, that just like um what's going on over there in Myanmar, how the um the military took over and now hey, it said the economy is in shatters, in tatters. You know, in bits and pieces. Hey, that's what America got to look forward to. You see? Verse 5, it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. And that's what's going to come to America, man. Evil and only evil. Jacob's trouble. You see? And the Lord said he wasn't going to spare it. And you seen how hey, he, the Lord killed pregnant women and children for performing school dances, man. This is Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark right there, that's that spiritual mark to set upon the elect. For those are the ones who sign and cry. And begging for our Lord Yahweh Shah to return. Two thirds of our people, they love it here. They like partying and bullshitting. 
Verse 5, and to the others he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have pity. You see, just like it said in verse 7, the Lord, I mean in chapter 7, the Lord said he wasn't going to have pity. He just told the deaf angels, hey, go out and slay. Don't have no pity. Verse 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. And the first thing they said was women, pregnant women and children were slain at the gate. Hey, all that is judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. And it says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. You see, so hey, if you got that mark of exemption, hey, the Lord, he going to spare you, you know, you and your household. But if you don't have this mark, hey, you will be slain. And it said he's going to start at his house. And you got all these niggas, these false prophets uh, out here lying, teaching the mark of the beast wrong. They're bucking up against the order of Yahweh by Hashem al They're going to be put to death, you know, lest they repent. You see? And all their followers are going to die as well. That's Ezekiel 14 and verse 9. Salah, give me one second. Yep, Salah. But hey. All that is judgment of Yahweh by Hashem al And that will come to the shores of America real soon, man. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. I'm going to get there real quick. It's Jeremiah 30. And verse 5. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem al we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And that's what we're telling you people, man. Hey, evils and only evils is going to come to the shores of America. And the Lord, he giving out examples throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And everybody think America just, that, that, that'll never happen. Hey, but the Lord been sending disasters, man. He been killing people with tornadoes, floods, snowstorms, power outages, heat waves. Hey, uh, burning down these uh, food, food factories. Hey, famines. Pestilence, a hey, evil is the only evil, you see, and all these are just examples, you know, to prove hey, that our Lord Yahweh Shai is on the return. He say our salvation is nearer than we believe. A hey, the destruction is even nearer. Verse six, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. You see, say women, I mean, so like, hey, the men are going to be out here like pregnant women, hands on their loins, a hey, screaming, scared to death, man. It's say like all faces turn into paleness. Get this word for paleness. And like the brother, um, that would always bring out hey, that perplexity. Hey, this is a form of that perplexity right here. It's a like face turn into paleness. It's H3420. It's a uh, mildew paleness, uh, lividness. Simple Google definition for lividness. It says, definition of lividness is a ass in wrathfulness, an intense emotional state of displeasure with someone or something. And that's the state that these people want to be in. They're going to be in, in an intense emotional state. You see? Because of the judgments that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to send upon this place. And you're not taking heed unto his word. Verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. He said, Alas, that time is great, and none is like it. So that, that article that I just went into, how they just bombed. Um, that that little the um the town, you know, killing 133 people, pregnant women and children, hey, that don't have shit on Jacob's trouble, man. You see, nothing is going to be like Jacob's trouble, and it says, but he shall be saved out of it, and that he is who the elect, and that's what we're hoping to be part of the elect, man, because if not a you got a rude awakening.
I'm going to close it out right here. Isaiah 55 and verse 6. You see? So like I was saying, so if you're not part of the elect, you have a rude awakening. So your best bet would be to repent and return unto your powers, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This is Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. And now is the time where he can be found, where the apostles and elders are still out, prophesying the downfall of America, teaching his word before the famine of the word come. Call ye upon him while he is near. Hey, before they shut the internet down. Hey, now is the time where you can go out to the prophet, seek the Lord, do your research. You see? Or watch videos, learn as much as possible, man. Hey, repent. Turn from your wickedness and pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Verse 7. It say, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Hey, you got to be renewed by the way of your mind. You see? My friend, let me grab it real quick. Mm. Yep. Re uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Heavenly Father. You see, so hey, you got to be um, transformed by the renewing of your mind. Verse 7 again, Isaiah 55 and 7 again, it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So, hey, forsake your wickedness. You know, turn from your wickedness. Repent. Pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. See? See? Hey, call Hello Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, you can't make this up. Hey, forsake your wicked ways and return unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Hey, and it said he will have mercy upon you, for he will abundantly pardon. You see? And that's, and that's our hope, man, that the Lord abundantly pardon our sins, because we're not perfect. Hey, we, we have done things, you know, um, worthy of death, but the Lord blessed us and brought us into this truth, man. So don't let your sins weigh you down. Hey, trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and Lord will, he have mercy upon you and your household. So, hey, Lord willing, this video was edifying unto you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learned this truth from. And I want to say shalom to the hopefully elect.